what's going on guys welcome back to the channel <laughs> anyways vinland saga episode 14 um season two great stuff great stuff is going on episode 13 was really good um and we're jumping into episode 14 uh last episode we know the battle is coming but also this slave you know i feel sorry for anar but <laughs> i feel sorry for him for him but hey it is what it is man we didn't know she was married my guy i'm saying she was a slave we, we were rooting for you too but hey you know Husband looking kind of more of a Chad. <laughs> Let's just keep it a buck. You know what I'm saying? Comes into the picture. This is going to be real interesting to see what's going to happen here. I think we are going to see a fight here some way, somehow. Because he's back at the farm. Snake is here as well. Um, so I don't know if Snake and him is going to go at it. Um, we'll see what happens. Anyways, guys. But I do have to to let you guys know is it's like when you don't see an episode of Vinland Saga like being uploaded, okay. A lot of times I've reacted to the episode I just can't edit it because as I'm sitting here right now, episode 13 is not even up on the channel yet, so I might, you know, edit the last one first and then this one after because I'm definitely gonna have time to do it um, this time around. But any case, guys, without no further ado, let's jump into episode 14. See you guys at the end for the review. It's cool, but yeah, it's cool. Suruto, Koko Nanda, Oto, Nanoka, Arunaze, son. キャルティは元気かもう大きくなったのであろうなガルサルキャルティはさあ帰ろう三人で私たちの家にああ、三人で私たちの家にその手を取るな、アルネイズ Who's the third person they're talking about? Yo! Just... Yo, leave the horse out of this! Yo! Yo!貴様が蹴ってるか Bro, you don't even know what's going on. Chill. Exactly. Anna, you're going to have to stop being a simp right now. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Chill out. Yeah, we don't know what is going on exactly. Oh, damn, you gonna use the back of the sword? Well, they did. Okay, the thrust master. Ooh. Anaguma, 
こいつしまっとけ That was over in an instant. Uh, yeah. Yudansuru. <laughs> 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 Me don't ask her again, never. So, that's all. Ega, Konogen, your Kagarna. Gigi no Seva Tanondazo. I don't know, man. Ainer Sama de Arasini Makikomaranide. Garuza Samokoto Skija nine desk. 結婚なんて親同士が決めるものだけど彼は私と息子に優しい人だった立ったら行きましょう頼むトルフィン力を貸してくれ俺が見張りを引きつけるからお前は私はお鍋のせいで息子を失いました、oh, son, because of pots? 少し私のことを We're all dying to know. Watashita Chika was a Sweden no Aru Shurak in Krashte Mashta. Muskoga Isai no Koro, Toi Mori no Okuni, Tetsno Toreru Numachiga Mitskate. Ikutska no Seruk no Aida de Sono Numach no Shoyuken o Megutte, Arasoiga Okimashta. Garuzaru was Shurak no Minani Sono Koto o Tsai. Okay. Oh, that was quite interesting. お願い、考え直してガルザル。今、鉄が足りなくて困っているわけじゃないでしょいるのだ。西のイングベは野心の強い男だ。奴の一族が鉄を手にすれば、一体の均衡は崩れるだろう。守るためなら、一緒にいてくれればいいのに。So, Sushu can get a master. Weeks, damn. So, was it Kettle that did it? Fune will meet at the key. Otokota Chica Kite, the Kitano that all my master. Damn. Yeva Yakare. Oita Mono a Kurosare. オナは船に乗せられ連れ去られました。ああ、やめて、やめて、やめて、やめて、やめて、やめて、やめて、やめて、やめて、やめて、やめて、やめて、やめて、やめて、やめて、やめて、やめて、やめて、やめて、やめて
まだまだ正気じゃ侮るなよせめて傷の手当てだけでも私もかつてじっと耐えて嵐をやり過ごしたことがあるいや隠れておったのだ震えながらその頃ケティル息子は東京の美しい娘と愛し合っておっただがある日その娘が近隣で力を伸ばしていたエッベという男に見初められてしまいわしらは苦しい決断を迫られただが我らの力は当時まだ小さいエッベに恐れをなす者も多かった我らの下した決断は服従だった。Damn. わしは保身のために一人の娘を差し出したのだ。そして娘が嫁いだ日。ペの富を妬み憎しみを抱いた男の仕業だった知らせを聞いて駆けつけた時にはもう何もかも焼き尽くされた後だったブラーなぜなぜいつもこんなことばかりわしに言えるのは嵐はやり過ごすことはできても傷跡は残していくということだ。Man, they get real deep! すまんな、力になれなくて。Why is this piano guy going off so hard? Damn. Calm down, dude. The OST. <laughs> Alright, so this episode was. Fairly, like the way the way how I see it, it's from a perspective of okay, how are they going to handle this? You know, what I mean, like, how are they planning to handle this? Is like what I'm what I'm thinking when it comes on to this episode here, what I'm thinking is. The relationship, the husband and wife, right? And the moral of the story here is at least what I'm getting from it is like they've had past experience where they never fought. And also, they fought as well. And still, there's something happened. And you can see also that Thorfinn got visibly very upset by this because it's like. I, and this is true in real life as well. No matter how much you seek peace, it seems like war always happens. It seems like bad stuff still happens. And people always use it as use that as an excuse to be bad, to keep on doing the bad things that they do. And be like, if I'm a good person. Bad things are still going to happen. If it's not me, it's going to be somebody else. So I might as well be me. And as much as I understand that, it still doesn't mean that you should choose to be bad. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, it's frustrating as hell. It really is. It's a frustrating ordeal to go through because you're trying to be good, you're trying to leave people alone, right? It was a great decision that he made back then, you know, or the men that decided to go get the, the iron.、Uh, that would be the reward that would make them more wealthy, more rich, you know what I'm saying? And there could be a balance of power. It's a very logical thing to do, right? But while they were gone, the village got attacked when we were taking their son, was taken. I don't know. I think her son is probably still alive, right? 
so her thing is when she was telling the story um is essentially what i got from it and also with the old master as well telling his story of what happened with kettle it just goes to show you that even when you seek peace from people shit can still happen the same thing that you were trying to avoid by by doing something or doing something unorthodox or doing the you know the calm thing the you know the submission thing like could still come back and bite you in the ass one way or the other it may be not be the same group but it could be other people that comes in and just kill and take it happens all the time in life and this is just one of those episodes man that i think that we're gonna probably look back on and be like man that shit was real that shit was, was was real real you know what i'm saying so i like this episode hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well um it's crazy crazy times that they lived in back then man it, and the thing about it is like she thinking that peace is coming war is on its way to y'all doorstep and y'all don't even know it yet right so this is crazy these in-between episodes that we have seen before the big battle or whatever is going to happen on the farm it's going to be crazy so love it love the episode don't forget to like the episode man don't forget to like the video i should say leave a comment let me know how you think see you guys for the next one peace